Hello everyone, I'm Ben Mantle and I'm in my studio at the moment. Uh, you might be able to see a few uh, books in the background that I've illustrated or written, and there's a few more books behind me here. Uh, you can also see my desk and computer, a little bit maybe, and my drawing board over here, which is where I do most of my drawing, and my computer is where I do a lot of my colouring and writing. Uh, but today uh, we are here uh, to read you a story, uh, which is a story that I wrote and drew the pictures for, and it is called Frog vs Toad. And it's about these two here, Frog on the left hand side here, and Toad on the right. And one thing you need to know before we begin this story is that Frog is definitely a frog. And Toad is definitely a toad. And the one thing they both know is that they are nothing alike. Absolutely nothing alike. Um, so I hope you enjoy. Uh, I hope you're ready to listen to a story. Uh, let's begin. Frog versus Toad. By Ben Mantle. And look here, the first thing we can see is a frog. Look, you can just make out his two big eyes. And what do you think he might be looking for? Well, let's find out. Frog was hiding in the leaves. His stomach was rumbling. The juicy fly was almost close enough to taste. And look, here we go. Look, this is what he was looking out for. Look, this little fly buzzing along over here. Snap! Dinner was served. Oh no, look, the fly has been got by Frog's very, very long tongue. Snap! Suddenly, another tongue flew out of nowhere. Hey, there, go! I saw the fly first, mumbled Frog. No, let go, came the reply. Oh no, look. Frog's long tongue, there's the fly. There's Toad's long tongue as well, and a fly is stuck between the two of them. Oh, this is the worst day ever, squealed the fly. I'm being eaten by two frogs. Two frogs? How rude. Oh dear, look, Frog and Toad do not look very happy about this at all. That one is a toad, gasped Frog. Frogs are nothing like toads. Yeah, I'm not a slimy frog, bellowed Toad. The fly saw its chance and buzzed off. Look, here he is. Look, he's escaping as fast as he can. Wait, did you call me slimy? croaked Frog. Well, you're dry and lumpy. Toad was cross. Oh, why don't you hop it, long legs? You're just jealous, teased Frog. Look how high I can hop. Worms have longer legs than you, and they don't even have legs. And look, his worm just down here, look. He's absolutely right. He's searching for his legs, but none at all. Frog hopped and hopped. Toad was upset. Yeah, well, not even a princess's kiss could turn you into a prince, laughed Toad. And look at him here, look, chuckling to himself. And Frog here looks a little bit upset, doesn't he? All you're good for is a witch's potion, Frog shouted back. And now look, he's shouting back at him. And how can you even see anything with those tiny eyes? And look, Frog has these huge big eyes and Toad has these little ones down here. At least mine don't swivel all over the place, muttered Toad. Don't know what you're talking about, shrugged Frog. And look, his eyes are facing in two different directions, which is actually something that Frog's eyes can do in real life. Frog and Toad couldn't stop squabbling. I'm so much cleverer than you, Frog taunted. I'm so much stronger than you, bragged Toad. And look at all these insects that have come round to watch them fighting. They continued bickering all the way to the swamp. Well, Toad's absolutely pong, howled Frog. That's not fair, bawled Toad. You know our smell stops anyone eating us. Look at this. Look, oh, more frogs have arrived on this side down here, and more toads down there have come to watch the argument. Things were getting a bit lively. Huh, Frog cried. Frogs are just better than toads. No, toads are best, boasted Toad. So la la la, I'm not listening to frogs like you anymore. Frog was ready to burst. That's it. 
if you say one more word, you'll do what, said Toad, taking a step closer. Frog had run out of things to say. And look, he's got a bit of mud behind his back here. And he throws a bit of mud, splat, right onto Toad's chest. And look at these other Toads in the background here and these other insects in the background. Look, the Toads actually look quite happy about it, don't they? What do you think is going to happen next? Mud fight! Oh dear, look at this. There's mud flying everywhere. Toads are flying at, throwing it at frogs. Frogs are throwing it at toads. There's insects flying through, getting hit by mud. Everyone's actually having quite a bit of a laugh, aren't they? Split, splat, splotch, squelch. The frogs and toads were so busy slinging mud, they didn't even notice someone approaching. And can you see here, look, just over the top of these frogs and toads, there's a shadow of someone coming. Can you tell what it is? Some sharp teeth, a long snout. Let's turn the page and find out. <gasps> a low voice growled. Your shouting and splashing has woken me up. Everyone froze. Toad squirmed in fright. Uh, this frog started it, not as toads. Look, he's pointing at him. Look, everyone's blaming each other. Even the little insects appear have hidden. It doesn't matter who started it. Frogs, toads, you all taste the same to me because all you pea brains are related. And now I'm hungry. What? We're related? <gasps> Look at that. He's telling them he wants to go and eat them. And what they're shocked about is the fact that they're related. I can't believe it. I'm related to you, gasped Frog. Toad thought for a second. You know, we might be different, but actually, you're all right. Frog smiled. You're not so bad yourself. Hey, welcome to the family. Thanks, Bean Toad. Soon there was a chorus of apologies between the frogs and the toads. Thanks for showing us we're all the same, crocodile. Look at those eyes. What's going to happen? What? I'm not a revolting crocodile. I'm an alligator. Oh dear, look, all the bugs are so shocked he shouted so loud. Alligators and crocodiles are completely different. Why would you say that? How rude. Oh dear, look. Alligator's having a bit of a tantrum, isn't he? Like stamping his feet, he's jumping up and down. He's now lying on the floor and hitting the floor with his hands. And look at Frog and Toad, look. Maybe this is their chance to escape. Honestly, said Frog. I know, replied Toad. Some folk are so touchy. And look at them, walking off. Best of buds now. An alligator in the background having a little tantrum. And look who we can spot, just here, look. I think that might be the fly from the start of the book. He looks a little bit alarmed, doesn't he? And there we go, that's the end of the story.